Hi all, welcome to Nidin's RN training. Today we are going to deal with most important topic that is ABG. The full form of ABG is arterial blood gas analysis. It is the most important topic for any competitive competitive exams. So let me discuss what is ABG. So the full form of ABG is arterial blood gas analysis so why we are doing abg actually abg is done to rule out acid base imbalances such as acidosis or alkalosis to differentiate whether the body is in acidosis or alkalosis so let me deal with the important points related to abg so to study abg you want to know some normal values such as pH normal pH pH full form is power of hydrogen so pH level normal is 7.35 to 7.45 PCO2 35 to 45 mm of H to remember PCO2 you want to remember that this 35 and 45 should put down and next one is PO2 that is 80 to 100 mm of H bicarb 22 to 26 MEQ per liter. So these are the normal values you want to study to solve any ABG question. So apart from that you want to study key points. So we get we want to study some normal key points to solve the ABG calculations. So first thing if pH decreases it is acidosis. If pH decreases it is acidosis means if pH fall below 7.35 we can call that patient is at the state of acidosis second if pH increases it is alkalosis that means if pH is more than 7.45 that patient is at the state of alkalosis third point PCO2 is a respiratory indicator that means the normal PCO2 is 35 to 45 mm of H if the PCO2 is out of this order we can assume that that patient is having some respiratory problems so next one bicarbonate is a metabolic indicator normal bicarbonate is 22 to 26 so if the bicarbonate is out of order maybe increase or decrease we can call it as the patient is having some metabolic issues and next, next point if pH shows opposite relationship with the PCO2 that means pH decreased, PCO2 increased. They are showing some ultra relation, opposite relationship means they are having some respiratory problems. Likewise, if pH increases, PCO2 decreases. If pH shows opposite relation with the PCO2, then we can assume that patient is having some respiratory problems. Next one, if pH shows corresponding relationship with the bicarbonate, corresponding in the sense same relationship if pH increases and bicarbonate increases we can assume that that patient is having some metabolic problems or metabolic issues likewise if pH decreases and bicarbonate also decreases it is also metabolic issues because they are showing the same relationship so you understood so next one if pH is show, is normal it is compensatory likewise if pH ranges between 7.35 to 7.45, then we can call this compensatory. If pH is abnormal, we can call it as uncompensatory. So these are the key points you want to remember to solve any ABG question. Okay. So we can deal with some calculations. So first question, first question, pH 7.16, PCO2 65 mm of HG, bicarb 25 MEQ per L. So once you get one calculation, you want to find out what is abnormal here. Here we can see that pH is low, here normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45 here the pH is very low 
and PCO2 increased. You can see that normal PCO2 is 35 to 45. It is increased. And bicarbonate is normal. So if pH is abnormal, we studied that it is uncompensatory. What it is? Uncompensatory. Okay. And PCO2 is abnormal. So we can assume that the patient is having some respiratory problem. PCO as PCO2 is a respiratory indicator. So we can assume the patient is having some respiratory issues. And pH is decreased. So it is acidosis. So it is what? Uncompensatory respiratory acidosis. You got it? So and you can see that pH is showing opposite relationship with what? PCO2. Hence it is respiratory issues. Hence I prove that it is an uncompensatory respiratory acidosis. So next equation. pH 7.16. PCO2 38 mm of Hg and bicarbonate is 16 MeQ per liter. So once you get this question, you, you can just check the normal values. Here it is low. pH is low, bicarbonate is normal and sorry, PCO2 is normal, bicarbonate is low. So you can see that pH is abnormal hence it is uncompensatory okay uncompensatory and second hint you want to remove bicarbonate is abnormal it is metabolic you always want to remember the main point if pco2 is abnormal it is a respiratory problem and if bicarbonate is abnormal it is metabolic problem okay so here we can assume that the patient is having some metabolic issues and pH is very low hence it is acidosis moreover just check the relationship you can see that pH and bicarbonate is decreasing if pH and bicarbonate show the shows the same relationship that means corresponding relationship then it is what metabolic acidosis metabolic problems okay so these are the two examples which we discussed one more example I will give you Next question, pH 7.68 PCO2 30 mm of Hg bicarbonate 26 MeQ per L. Okay, so here the pH is high, PCO2 is low. So bicarbonate is normal. So if pH is abnormal, we can call it as uncompensatory. Okay. PCO2 is decreased here. So we can assume what, what problem it is. It is a respiratory problem. And pH is increased. So it is alkalosis. So we can assume that this is what? Uncompensatory res respiratory alkalosis. And you can see here pH is showing opposite relationship with what pco2 so it is a it is respiratory problem okay so you know one important point related to acidosis and alkalosis i'll just show you there will be some potassium variations that means in acidosis in acidosis there's a chance for hyperkalemia there's a chance for increased potassium in the body and in alkalosis if the patient is having alkalosis hypokalemia potassium will be very low to remember this you want to remember alkalosis means k is low in chemistry k means potassium so you want to remember Alkalosis means potassium is low. That is what hypokalemia. Okay. And another important thing you want to control, you want to remember is acid base balance that is controlled by kidney and lens. So which organ control acid base balance? Organs which controls acid base balance are kidney and lungs 
so these are the important points related to arterial blood gas analysis if you like this video please subscribe my youtube channel and share with your friends see you all with another video thank you